All right, so uh, sad thing happened not too long ago. So the famous American overclocker called Splave uh, managed to beat many of my uh, 10 core records with his brand new uh, Cascade Lake X CPU. The Geekbench 3 was because of operating system improvements because the score is just so much better in Windows 10, the latest version of Windows 10. So now I will be trying to get them back. Frequency wise he is not ahead of me. So uh, technically I think my CPU is better than his new Cascade Lake X. So it's, it is just about efficiency and overall uh, uh, performance knowledge that which one will win. It was already very tough back then because it's very hard to run these CPUs at, at, at around the edge, but I will see what happens. So, uh, I will just try, uh, I will try 12, 11, 10, 3800, just go straight, 5, 9, 4, 1. So let's try. I will. I might actually just try 6G. It's 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 quite on the edge, but I'm sure it will do in uh, Kickpen 3. I, I managed to pass that 5.995 already. So uh, I will see what happens. Minus 60. All right. So how does a, how does an amazing CPU look like? That this is pretty much that. So uh, Kickbench 3 passed on first attempt at 6 gigahertz CPU, 4-1 mesh. So uh, wait. It's So 4.1 on the mesh, 6G on the core. I will try more, so I'm 200 something points away from top score. Yeah, I've had a lot of issues recently. So I even tried old BIOS and similar, but I had some really bad contact issues or something. I don't know. Now it works all right. Score is very close on rank one, 62,658. Cold bug is at 115. So I will keep going, but yeah, very close. And that is the uh, <coughs> Cinebench R15 top score or record in uh, 10 core category. With first of all, wait a wait a minute. So with Benchmate validated score 3379. At uh, wait a bit. So it's five six five six seven five five. This is five nine sixty. 40-40 on the mesh, 3800 plus 12-11-11. So I'll, this is quite nice, but this benchmarking session has been very hard. But I'll see what I will get. Look at that. CD bench, wait, well CD bench R15 score of 3393 uh, at a CPU speed of 5970. Mesh is 40-45. 38, 40 mems, 12, 11, 11. Very nice score. Haha, <laughs> so that's global, global rank one. All right, so uh, this is the end of my uh, session. So uh, I was hoping for a bit better results, but at least I got the rank one uh, in R15 back. Very close call on 11.5 uh, uh, and uh, Geekbench 3. Geekbench 3, I'm like 150 to 200 points away from Splave. I think I just need a lucky run in order to beat him, but in the end I'm not that sad because I'm ultimately uh, competing against the best guys in the world. Of course this is a lot, a lot, a lot about uh, the actual hardware, so even you, if you are the best guy in the world, you cannot beat the best CPU in the world with just an average CPU. But this CPU is very very good. Uh, I'm sure I can get, I was very close on X265 4K as well, like like uh, 
0.010 FPS away from Splave, so uh, for sure I will get that one in time. But I don't. I just don't want to waste all of my all of my LM2 on this right now. But yeah, so uh, very very strong score on R15 W Prime. I didn't try because I'm still holding the top score on that. Uh, GPU Pi 1 billion. I had some weird issues. I need to uh, see what's up. But uh, overall, it went somewhat okay. I had some serious issues with this uh, combination, uh, like earlier in the session, like some weird FF issues and weird hangs. I don't know why. Maybe just some condensation somewhere. But yeah, I don't want to risk the uh, socket by going very hard on the uh, thumb nuts. The uh, Thermal paste cracking isn't actually that bad with the 7900X because it's re relatively small CPU among the Skylake X family. But yeah, so I will try better next time. You can't always win everything. So uh, I will stop this now and I will post the scores. And uh, I think next next thing I will try is the 980X on the EVGX 50A classified because I want to finalize that segment as well. But yeah. I might try some. I might try a bit more scores with the 79RX after that. But yeah, we will see. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.